Okay, so a quick and dirty video about pool parties and ranking and stuff, because some people in the PvP chat were confused earlier, so I figured, fuck it, on board. Uh, so, just going off the base assumptions that for the first guy who actually is, like, trying to rank, and, you know, one, wants to rank, but not necessarily rank 14, but wants to get up there, we're going to assume that he's always standing 21 every week, he's always the top in his bracket, and it's starting with a 1,000 total PvPers. That's just to make all the math easy. Uh, the basics of ranking, there's 14 brackets and 14 ranks. They basically talk to each other. The only confusing part about them is bracket 1 is actually rank 14 equivalent. Uh, it's just inverse because basically when you're ranking, it goes by your rank, the bracket rank 1, 2, 3, and you go down to bracket rank 14, which is basically you don't PvP. Um, and then when you're actually ranking, you're counting up. So it's, you know, you go from 1 to 14. But you can just think of bracket 1 as rank 14, and that should kind of explain that. Uh, but the way brackets work is it's a certain percentage of the total PvPers. So 0.2% of the total PvPers get bracket 1. They gain from 12,000 to 13,000 rank points. So what rank points are is the actual rank. So honor doesn't actually directly impact uh, your actual rank. That's a common misconception. The reason that it impacts it is because the amount of honor you have is what puts you in the brackets. So the top bracket has the most honor, but it does not necessarily directly relate to the amount of RP you're getting. You could get 15,000 honor, and as long as literally everyone on the server was working together to not get more than that, you would still be bracket one, and you would still get rank 14 after a certain amount of time. Or you could do 2 million honor and be the top. It doesn't matter. It's just all about the percentage and where you are within the total player base. So, going with you're always going to be standing 21 every week. If you do no pool party, you'll see that, you know, from rank one to there, go up to four, five, six, seven, but you end up plateauing at 11. You're never going to go above that, really. Uh, because every single week, there is a 20% decay on the total honor. So, it ta or the total RP, sorry. It takes your total RP as of the previous week, multiplies it by 80%, basically, and then adds on whatever extra RP you got that week. So, that's what this is doing, basically, all, all the way down. So, the reason that pool parties work is because it expands the brackets so more people fit. So if you take 1,000 people and you take 0.2% of that, it's like only two people. You take 3,000 people, it's six people. So you kind of get how it expands all the brackets, makes it easier to hit a higher bracket. So just to not have to look at numbers, I have a little visualization here to just make it real easy. Um, you can see the total RP each week for no pool if you do it with 1,000 extra people in the pool or 2,000 extra people. So this you can think of it as 1,000 people, 2,000 people, 3,000 people total. But as you can see, the RP goes up pretty statically. But the ranks here, you can see you rank up way faster and you can get higher with the larger pools. So red, you can see, is a 2K pool and it maxes out at rank 13, and it will never go past that because you have to get to bracket one to get to rank 14. But if you had no pool, you'd be stuck at 11. So you get an extra two ranks just from 2,000 more characters, not necessarily players, but characters, which is what pool parties are about, creating a lot of characters, not individual players PvPing. All you have to do is have 15 honorable kills, and you get counted into the total pool which is why pool parties are great. The reason that they're great for non-hardcore PvPers is because it makes ranking way easier for anything 10 or 11 or below. So instead of looking at a hardcore PvPer, we're going to instead look at like a slow casual person. It's like standing 180. To give you an idea, it's now Friday evening, like 5 p.m. server. Uh, just checked. The current 180 bracket is 11,000 honor which is basically nothing if you've ever PvP'd. You, you know, you see that that's basically nothing. Now that's before even counting any pool party that's going to be happening later in the week, like this weekend. So not only is this going to get pushed up even more later this week, 
but you know probably 30k honor is like the maximum you would need for the week to be around standing 180 but going back over here doing the pretty much same math it's just kind of moved down a little bit but you look at the ranks you're going to hit no pool party you're never going to go above rank eight if you're around that area pool party of 1k you're going to be 10 or 9 and then 2k 10 so even super super casually with a pool party you can get to 10 and even 11 if you want the mounts but it would be so hard to get from 8 to 11 without the pool party but it's so so easy you do like 40 or 50k honor a week and you'll probably be getting close to 11 to get those mounts if you want them so that's why it helps to pool party uh and also if you get like 5,000 people <laughs> to pool party or 5,000 characters, uh, pretty much anything rank 12 and below is like easy as shit. So uh, yeah, I, I don't even PVP, but I figured I'd make the video because basically I just wanted to screw around with data visualization and I've never actually done that before. So uh, yeah, that's why I made that. But if you have any questions, uh, don't ask me because uh, I don't PVP, but uh, you can probably ask alive because he's in charge of that shit. But I just wanted to make this video. Uh, bye.